Hey, it's Young Grish from The Inlevels here with a one step after fall, 100% achievement walkthrough. I'm playing this on the Xbox Series XS version. I was provided the code to create this content from one uh, Bergson studio. So there's like a bunch of stacks and I've done a bunch of videos already. i never done a full commentary, so I decided this is the one last time I'm gonna do that. Yeah. Uh, and first thing you want to do is you want to turn a little bit right, go to that uh, tower thing, climb up the ladder. After you climb it all the way, turn around 180 degrees and turn, just jump down and kill yourself for the first achievement. That's the easiest one. While I'm climbing up, you can press LB to walk faster, by the way, I also climb up and down faster. Um, yeah, I just want to say the, the Spanish, German stacks and uh, Bergson Studio actually told me what happened, why they did it this way. Is that apparently, the game engine has some technical uh, limitations where they can only include one or two languages <laughs> in the next. So, yeah, that's what happened. But of course, it is uh, Microsoft didn't agree that it should exist. So. Yeah, they didn't see eye to eye, so unfortunately the Spanish and the German stacks are gone. But yeah, it was just you know, technical issue. Alright, so go forward, pick up that paper on the sign, go forward again, scaring the crows, that's another achievement. And then keep going forward to the cabin. And at the cabin, you first try to open the door, and you're going to remember that you store the key somewhere. And then go a little bit to the right. There's on the window, there's another letter. So pick that up, turn left, and go up to the windmill. I did not climb up the there steps. There are so many memories. And on the barrel is the key. If you didn't try the door, this key isn't here. So I hate the cursor in this game. It's so hard to see. All right. Um, RT to use, by the way. And turn left a little bit to pick up that letter and go back down to the cabin now or you can press lt to open up your inventory and use the key to open the door press lt here yeah open the door press rg to open. turn right as soon as you enter on the sofa bed thing there's a picture Camera's photograph you, that's an achievement. Go to the dining table, there's another letter, and then on a, I think what is a, yeah, cameroid paper pack. Pick that up and put it down, that's another achievement. So go to the end of the cabin, and there's a like, filing cabinet. On top of that is a letter and a key. Open up the very bottom drawer, there's a pill in there, check that out. And then use the key on the top drawer, open that up, and pick up the yeah, pistol, and put it back place. down, go, go out more. the door, and then go straight through the woods, a little bit slightly to the left, to the tower that you climbed and you killed yourself out of. This time we're not going to kill ourselves, we're just going to climb the tower and do some stuff. As, you, as I'm walking, I'm gonna just put some filler stuff this. in. Uh, as we're climbing up, um, there's uh, the game is currently updated to 2000 gamer score. And they have a plan to update all the way to 5000 gamer score. I don't know if it still holds true. The game itself is pretty short, so I don't know what achievement they're gonna put in here. There's a lot to discover, but the game itself is pretty short. So pick up this Carol's Depression book on that box for achievement. Pick up the key on the right side of that desk and the letter in the middle. Uh, the key on the desk, sometimes some people say they can't pick it up. I don't know of a good solution for it. I think you have to pretty much uh, restart the game and hopefully it fixes itself as far as I know there's no like save points in this game so yeah, 
climb back up, climb back down very carefully, and then go into the door on the first floor of the tower, and then go to the left side where there's a wine. Pick that up and put it down for an achievement. Turn around 180 degrees, and there's a letter in the helmet. Pick that up, go out the door, turn, and then go turn right and go straight through the woods and very far you can you might be able to see some like little bit of light there there's a picnic table and on the picnic table there's a basket with the action figure pick that up for an achievement I miss the picnics we used to have here okay and then we want to go towards the like the cabin we kind of started if you get lost, don't worry too much about it. Like just kind of follow my video. I'm I play this game like five times and I get lost. That fence there is like a good sign. Go to that fence and go a little bit to the left, and that's where we wanna go. There's like a pier thing. You go on the pier, and there's a book and a letter at the end. So pick up the book and the letter for achievement. The letters, by the way, if you don't pick them up in future, the next one doesn't appear. So you have to follow this way. You can't just come to the pier because you missed John's letter, for example, to get an achievement. You have to do this all in order. The letter fragments, you have to pick them up in number one, two, three, four. You have to pick up the like the Bob's letter, Carol's letter, that kind of things one by one. Good. To the well, a little bit to the right of the pier, like turn around from the pier and to the right, there's a letter there. Under, like in front of the well, there's a book there, and that's another achievement, one more achievement in your life. That's the title of the book. And then turn around, there's like a shed. Go to the left side of the shed and keep going forward. There's a scarecrow, go near it, and you unlock an achievement. So there's a lot of stuff to do. I mean, I can imagine them adding like 50 more achievement, like 200 G each for um, 3,000 more gamer score. Go to the shed and there's a book there that you can pick up. And then climb this ladder and uh, use the key you found at the top of the tower to open up this chest. Pick up the letter and that is your final letter and it leads to the real ending. Okay. So, so basically, there's three endings: the one for dying, you died ending; one for like your your falling falling death ending. And then there's the real ending, which is the one I'm showing here, and then there's the fake ending, which is the one where you um, it's kind of depressing one. But if you remember the pistol, you found? yeah, you end yourself with the pistol and the, in the chest is the ammo for that pistol all right so you can't skip or like get out of this step rule so just wait for it or if you're impatient you can quit out and then come back it's not a it's not a like a really really long step rule so depending on like how impatient you are you want to save like 20 seconds up to you or well, anyway whatever you did when you're back at the main menu we're gonna start another new game and this one is gonna be a little bit faster what you're gonna do is we're gonna go straight to the cabin try the door so the key spawns go to the windmill pick up the key we're gonna ignore all the letters and come back open the door go to the filing cabinet Get the key, open the top drawer, check out the gun, go to the tower, and uh, pick up the key on top of the tower, climb down from the tower, go to the shed, open the chest, get the ammo, go back to the cabin, and then use the gun on yourself. All right, so that's basically it. Um, and then this is the video that shows you how to do that in each step. But you've been to all these locations, there's nothing new. You're just going to ignore all the letters basically. And that's and instead of going to the portal, you come back to the cabin. 
and then uh, use the gun oh, to finish the uh, game, the game and get the big ending. You want to rest, use the rest of the time to kind of talk about other things. So actually, when they started making like the German Spanish language stack, uh, you know, I approached to them naturally because I'm interested about uh, bringing more games to the Korean market. So I am Korean, and I enjoy, you know, working with the indie developers, and you know, to bring the professional quality Finally, instead of like machine translation or something right like now. that. Uh, trans to you know, the Korean. Yeah. And this being an adventure I game, I need to go get more. that is you know, great to have a Korean translation. You know, and it's a short game, as you can see, it's maybe 10 minutes if you know what you're doing. There's some extra stuff, but you know, overall it's like 10 minutes if you know what you're doing. 30 minutes max. And, you know, so the I figured I it's probably like gonna be I must continue. Three, four hours of translation work. Not not a really huge amount of translation work. So I decided to kind of invest my time and to you know, support them and provide them with the Korean translation. But because of the technical limitation of the engine, their option was to include it as the uh, Korean language stack. But Microsoft has denied <laughs> the language stacks that have no other differences than just the language. So we're looking at options. I don't know how we might be able to provide this, you know, the, unfortunately. But yeah, so it happens. You know, the, I did the work and you know, they tried to incorporate it but it didn't really work out you know, it happens i don't blame them and i'm always happy to work with them and it's all good uh, we're still on good terms there's no, no like hate between us or anything like that so yeah and uh, hopefully they can maybe update the engine or find some way to bring the Korean support to this game. One thing I could think of is providing the Korean version on the Korean store only for like free of charge. Uh, and that version would only include Korean, but uh, it, would, it would not be a stack. It would just be a shared list with the English version. Uh, some companies no, like Capcom do it that way. I'm going back to the like they have a uh, Korean support only if you download from the Korean store and not uh, not from the English store for example for the like, uh, Devil May Cry 5 so I think that's an option uh, we, we can think we can think about it but there's always the cost of working on this project and I don't know how, many, how much more sales they're gonna get by putting Korean support in there so We'll see. Well, that's the fake ending right here. And uh, thanks for listening to my story. Thanks for listening to the commentary. I think this is the last time I do the 2000 game of walkthrough. Uh, there might be a 3000, 2000 to 3000, the 1000 game of update, and then more, maybe 4000, 5000 going forward. And I'll see you then with this game. And thanks for watching. I'm Sangria. Subscribe, like. And I'll be back with more soon.